Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to Chef Plays, and today we will be exploring, or playing the game some more. I may or may not have had to restart because I uh, finally came across a decision, or another decision, and I goofed and didn't record it, so we're going to redo it. Is that Daryl? Look at this! Dale is shaking in anger and apprehension as he approaches Merle. So that's who we are now. We just abandon our own people? And you? He spits out. I know you had something to do with this. Merle just smiles at Dale. Who, me? What makes you say that, old man River? You and T were always biting hats, growls Dale. Guess you'll finally got him out of the way. Well, you're not going to get rid of me so easily. And we're going to defuse, we're going to side with Dale. Because I got some... Give me a I got a bad feeling about backing up Merle. <laughs> like, I don't see any world where that could possibly end. Good. What's in here? Dark Souls. Can we talk to Shane? Rick, is that really you? Wow. You should send some folks on a supply run. Daryl Dixon. Go on an evening patrol. Wait. Daryl saw a few <coughs> saw a few walkers roaming in the forest. And wants to lead a group to clear them. He says a small group can clean up the area around the camp in no time. Success seven skill points. Failure zero skill points. All right. Expedition success is determined by a decision made during the main mission. Huh. Okay. I guess we'll use Rick. I don't know. Lori and Rick reunite following the, his mere miraculous return from the dead, leaving Shane crestfallen. As Rick adapts to his new life, he quickly emerges as a natural leader of the group, a role that Shane had previously assumed, but things can change quickly in this new reality. Because we're in the multiverse of the walking dead. Roll while crouched to silently move faster towards a... You cannot take damage while rolling. I'll give him this. I haven't seen the same tip twice. Episode 5. Overrun. A few nights later, survivors camping near Atlanta. Shit. <gasps> oh no! What is that? <laughs> mm, I'm making... So this is the day after the homemade mac and cheese thing, and I'm recording all these episodes in the same day. I need my gun. Bang. And I'm using the air fryer to make homemade mac and cheese wraps. Bro. The apartment smells busting. Stragglers led us to a big herd. Now we're pinned down by the quarry. Might need some backup. Uh, stay put. We'll send help. Oh, I didn't see you down there. Bonk. Okay. Okay. Fantastic! Rick, help! Rick! Rick, help! Yeah, baby! Good call. Woohoo! My phone's down! Don't worry, Lori. No, that's Daryl. Don't worry, Lori. Nope. That's kind of Rick. It wasn't a very good one, though. You're right up ahead. Don't worry, Lori. I'm getting there. Patience, please. Ah, oh, bang. Knife your head. Eh. Get off of me. It's Get off of me. Wait, hold on. I got this. 
I'm going to have to do it to the next guy because this guy is not going to be able to do it. No! Get to your Get off of me. Stay off my wife. Get out of here. Don't worry, Lori. Just stand there. Oh, yeah. All right, Lori. I'm going to run around looking here, looking for comic books and whatnot. Stay off my wife. I already used that one. Hold on. Hold on, Lori. I'm looking for comic books and radios. And then we'll get you to safety. I don't know what those things are. It's knife to meet you. <laughs> Ooh. You've just been stabbed. Stab him? I barely know him. There's a knife in your head. <laughs> I'd make a really good James Bond. Lori, look out behind you. There's a zombie. Or a walker. Sorry. Hey. Lori, get in the RV. Good job. I'm over here! You just said I'm over here. You did not tell me where. Carl! Where are you, Carl? <laughs> no time like the present. Hey, Carl. How you survived that, I have no... Ooh! Alright! Come on, Carl. We have to look for skill points. The classic Walking Dead plot hole. When Rick looked for radios and comic books. Oh, no! I wonder what happens if Carl, like... This early on, you know what I mean? Look out! My timing is impeccable. <laughs> Stay off my son. Hey. Huh. So even with minimal stamina, I can still perform an execution. That's good to know. Alright, Carl. I think I got all the skill points in the area. Ooh, axe. Or not. I'm pretty sure I did. Oh no, the RV's health line. I'm trying. You're not the one out here. You don't understand how tough it is. I don't have enough stamina. I'm not doing a very good job. Good to know. I will not be surprised if I fail this mission. No, they're not. Shut up. I'm the best Rick Grimes that ever did it. Stab. You've been hit with an axe. I... you're gonna be fine. Stop it! Oh yeah, baby. What did, it, what did I do for that? Kill an enemy with a tired out of stamina attack. Up. Oh, I'm just assuming... yeah. Any more skill points? Ooh, is that skill points? Sure is. What am I doing now? Here's a question. Why did I not just, you know, get, uh, like, on the RV? 
Uh oh. Uh oh. There we go. Excuse me. My mom's calling. She's gonna have to wait a second. My mom called. I packed her a lunch for work and she was saying thank you. So, let's boogie. Stab. It says get to the pickup truck, but I don't see a pickup truck. I think it's through here. Get off of me! Attack! That's not the button I meant. Yeah. Got it. Welcome to the apocalypse. <coughs> so. I like how they all just stood there and let that happen. Are we in the next episode yet? I feel like we have to be close. Oh, HQ. Alright then. We'll uh, call this an episode. Alright. So, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you're having a good day. If you're watching early on, have a good rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. And until then... Zombies. Or walkers. See ya!